Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. It does have a distinctive feel. Indonesia have gone 4 3 3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Well, a system promoted by the rise of total football, Peter. The wider players in the front three are, are key operators in how it all works on and off the ball. They have to provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullbacks, so they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements on the bench. in his pocket. Indonesia are already ahead, the perfect start. Always when you score early, it gives you such a lift and it, it casts doubt in the minds of your opponents at the same time. And that pretty much sums up the difference in what we've seen. One team assured, the other a little unsure. Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal-saving. Gets it, and, and the shot! It's in! And already they're looking to run away with it. Looking back at 
that. That's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. themselves a two-goal cushion. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. We move up a gear here. Forward it goes. Hakimi. Top from the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Aguirre. Munier. Saiz. Hakimi. Hakimi is moving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Let's be lenient here. And yeah, he'll get too many more chances. Sit forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. Has a goal! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Lovely control. He made it stick with an excellent touch. Forward it 
goes. They put it back as soon as they gave it away. Walsh. Morocco have a free kick. And the referee brings the first half to a close. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why did it? Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Saiz. Saiz drives it forward. Deftly done. Dinked over the top. And he's got that one wrong. Amrabat. Get it forward quickly. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Keeper's got good distance on that. Oh, what a ball! Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Goals ahead and looking comfortable. Yeah, he's fouled him there. to locate someone up front. Now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Oh, good take and a good... Real chance! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Only directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Goes for goal! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. The changes then in quick succession. Been 
Locked away. Is there any going for goal? Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, that was high class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high class rage. Too much on it, and that's the keepers. They've seen lots of the ball. Time to go for it a bit. A bit of creativity and adventure. Amrabat. <laughs> Zayek. Amrabat. And he has been fouled there. Time to perfection. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, and they've finally reacted, but... Has a hit! Oh, it looked like 3-0 for sure. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting. He could have killed it off. Won it. Indonesia have time on their side now as well as a two-goal lead it is just about done He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Mounier. A real chance to break. forward, chance to break. Hoist it forward. Get the better of his opposite number. And with that, the final whistle. Indonesia it's victorious here, and it's no more than they deserve. They were simply the better team. Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Indonesia have just remained.